Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is going to be a little bit different and it's going to be kind of a second upload of the day. This is going to be for Canny Sports and the change of career mode movement. If you don't know who Canny Sports is, he is a YouTuber obviously, a career mode YouTuber who has just over 50,000 subscribers and started this hashtag change career mode wishlist thing. So a lot of YouTubers today will be uploading this to their channels. I'm just going to do this in the format of just you can see this thumbnail here. I'm just going to talk about a lot of things. And if you are interested, then do leave a like because I will actually put EA's Twitter in the title. So every time you like this video and if you have Twitter, it will go directly to them. But I decided to join in with this, even though I'm not a big YouTuber myself. I thought it would be good and helpful towards the community that I love. Obviously, career mode is my main game and always my main game mode on FIFA. So I thought it'd be interesting to kind of vouch some opinions on stuff that I want to see in next year's FIFA now. I've got seven different points to cover here, so it could be a fairly long video. So if you want to tab out and go and you know do something else, because this isn't going to change, it's just going to be a thumbnail on screen, then that would be cool. But yeah, so first things first is player growth. Now, I don't want to bash on career mode too much. You know, I want to give my opinions. I don't want to try and rant too much. I just want to kind of give opinions on what can be changed and what can be fixed from the current game. Because as you know, career mode has been the same game mode pretty much you know for the last kind of four or five years there's been a few changes and don't get me wrong this year i was so pleased with the team sheets and the growth being improved but coming on to that point player growth is still absolutely screwed up if you actually do pay attention to twitter and stuff you will see that a lot of the bigger youtubers get tweeted you know pictures of players say when they get to like 37 or something they've dropped like 30 overall points so you can go from like an 80 to a 50 overall which is absolutely ridiculous and it is so unrealistic that it's actually dumb you know i know that now players have been fixed and you know it's sort of better for growth you can get kind of past that 30 mark and players still to be doing well but even so like it gets to the point where a player gets really old and they're so so bad that it's just unrealistic it's like having an ibrahimovic he will go from like an 89 potentially down to like a 60 overall by the time he's 40 which to be honest ibra is not going to be that bad when he's 40 and I just feel that that's too much for a game as well. And maybe it's too realistic or too unrealistic. Either way you look at it, really. But it's something that's always been an issue with career mode. And kind of tied in with that is a bug that we get currently with career mode, which is when, especially goalkeepers, although goalkeepers do do well in their prime, is normally when they're kind of like nearing 30 in real life, which I, you know, I can appreciate. I feel that it gets a little bit ridiculous when you get a keeper at like 31 and someone like Petr Cech can get to like a 90 overall. I don't think Cech is personally ever going to get back to his former self and he's never going to be that sort of goalkeeper again and I feel when you get past 30 like you can't make players increase so so much it's got to be kind of realistic enough and it's just a little you know critique of the game that I have and it, it does really frustrate me as well because it affects pretty much everyone who does play career mode now my second point is youth players now I'm not really someone like SJH Sports um, or Stu who does like youth player academies and stuff but what I do know is like youth players are a pain in the ass. If you like go and sign a youth player up to the team, it can be issues with growth like where, where you get the potential you say you get like potential 84 to 94, you think damn son, that's gonna be a great player to have in my team. You put them into the first team, they don't grow. And or they grow but certain stats like stamina and stuff just do not increase and it is just so frustrating, it needs to be fixed. They need to pay more attention to this game mode, which is obviously career mode. They always focus on ultimate team. Why can't we get this in career mode as well and get this sort of attention and also pro clubs? Well, this isn't what this video is about. Pro clubs is also looked down upon as is seasons. It's all about ultimate team for EA and it's all because of the money and it really, really needs to change. But youth players, again, as I said, is something that needs to change. It, it's broken. It doesn't work. It needs to be sorted out. Thirdly, glitches and bugs which pretty much affect every career mode that's ever come out there's, there's there's not too many this year but you know i guess bugs and stuff could come into the player growth you know stuff not working properly and because obviously there's no microtransactions like an ultimate team when you play career mode a lot of shit happens because ea obviously they're not making any money from the game mode and definitely no microtransactions that's something i've always wanted to point out we do not want microtransactions in career mode it would just absolutely ruin it but glitches and bugs last year we had the invisible ball glitch this year we've had like the fixture congestion which holy shit is genuinely the most annoying thing in career mode today you will the other day i was playing a career mode off you know not recording or anything but i had a game against man city then a day later i had another game then a day break then another game against man city then like a two-day break then another game 
at any club, no matter if you're Bayern Munich or Yeovil Town, you still will struggle to field enough players because your players are absolutely knackered by the point you've actually done that. You know, you've you got through like five games in about five days. It's absolutely stupid. It's usually like five games in a week, which is so, so unrealistic and needs to be completely taken out. Next, add more popular leagues. Now, I don't know if you guys would agree with this or not, but for me, what is the point in having the Saudi Arabian League in FIFA? Why don't we have the Bundesliga third division or the BBVA third division or, you know, Liga 3 in France, you know, a, big, a bigger league? Why do we have the Saudi Arabian League? Now, I don't mean to offend anyone from Saudi Arabia, but Jesus Christ, like hardly anyone will ever do a career mode with them teams because they have literally like £50,000 to spend. It's it's awful. Like no one, no one in the world probably wants to use Saudi Arabia. I don't mean to be offensive by saying that either, so don't take that the wrong way. But I feel that more popular leagues or just add more leagues in general would make the game a lot more fun. Now, next is the customization side of things. I know that this ties in with copyright, and there are certain things that EA just will not be able to put into the game due to you know copyright issues and such alike. But something that I'd really like to see in FIFA 16 career mode in general is more customization towards like players and you know all the stuff that you can do with them. Now, custom kits and badges is always something that you know I really would like to see, but I believe because of copyright issues, it probably ain't going to happen. But something I would like to see is say you're in a championship and you get promoted so say you're using Charlton you get promoted up into the premiership you'll notice your kit like the badges on the side of the crests on the side of your arms and stuff and on the back where the player um, names and stuff are they are still championship you know writing and stuff I want that to be BPL and I don't know if that could ever be changed because obviously it would you know time with copyright laws and stuff like that and all sorts of issues but if they could do it it would be so so good imagine like going out to the champ going out to the premier league and actually having the premier league crest on your kit and it just changes automatically you know you can't fiddle around with it you can't make like i, I suppose custom kits would be you know maybe a infringement um but also something that happened in fifa 6 i believe it was you could get sponsorship deals so you could at the start of the season you pick a sponsor then you could like earn money through that sponsor if you complete certain tasks so say you know you're in like season three you get a sponsor you pick a sponsor say like some like building contractors for example and they say look if you win this cup we'll give you an extra million pounds maybe not that much i can't remember exactly how much it was this was a long time ago but something that needs to be brought back into career mode is sponsors and would just make the game so much more enjoyable if you could do that next is training mode now this is something i've always always wanted is like a practice mode where you can train your players, whether or not by you know sitting in a practice arena, which by the way isn't even in FIFA 15, which is just ridiculous. But in career mode, you could go and take your team onto a training pitch and do different drills with them to improve certain things. So say you've got Per Mertesacker at Arsenal, you want to improve his speed. So you get him to do some running drills and try and improve his acceleration and his sprint speed and like agility and stuff like that. That would be so good. You could have it laid out on a pitch. I think it was a game called um, Lords of Football which came out on Steam like a year ago, which had something like that, and that would be fucking awesome. So, like, but if you wanted to once a week or twice a week, or as many times as you want, you could go into the training m ground, you could have your own training ground, and maybe you could customise your stadiums, which also is something I would love to see, is customisable stadiums. You could go into the training ground, you could, you know, lay out drills for different players, you could select which players you want to do which drills, and then you could maybe play a practice match as well. There's so much you can do, you know, maybe there's like a gym or something you can go to where you can get all your players to train into certain areas. I know it would take a lot to do, but imagine how good it would be if you could train your players in the way you want. So say you had someone like Callum Chambers who in real life can play central midfield. If you don't want him playing as a right back or a centre back, you could train him into a central midfielder or a cam or whatever position you want because players, you know, loads of players have done it before. I think... The legend Rijkaard, I believe Van Hal made him from a right midfielder into a centre-back. If you could do that in FIFA, that would be awesome. And it is realistic, it does happen in real life, and you know, it would be something that would just be so good. And generally, the one thing I want is a training mode in FIFA. It would be so good, and if EA do ever watch this video, which is very unlikely, that is the one thing I think a lot of people would really, really enjoy is a training mode. I don't know if many people think of it or not, I haven't obviously watched anyone else's videos as of yet. 
but last on my list and there's still plenty more I could probably do a list of like 25 things that could be done next year in career mode but obviously I don't want to make the video too much longer it's already 10 minutes as it is but number seven is youth team games and leagues have you ever wanted to better manage your youth team in the proper way so the under 21s you can maybe hire someone hire a manager to take control of them games but you get to see the league tables how well they're doing the top scorers you know you can kind of work out from the youth team games how well you're doing it's a bit like football manager i believe in football manager you have like under 21s and under 18s you can get someone to manage them for you it would be great it would make you know managing youth players a lot better because someone at, like arsenal you wouldn't have to play the youth players they would play in the under 21s and get experience and then eventually turn into better players it would be such a good idea whether or not it will come in to career mode, I really don't know, you know, it, it's something, it's a long shot, a lot of these things probably won't even get put into the game, just because EA will probably be too lazy to do it at the end of the day, you know, I, I can't imagine most of this coming in, but if it did, it would be absolutely fantastic, thank you for watching anyway, I know it has been over 10 minutes now, but there has been a lot to cover, as you can imagine, and I did write down a few things I wanted to cover, so yeah. If you want to go and check out Canny Sports, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. And, you know, go and check out his video on it. And, you know, be, make sure to watch out for everyone else's videos this weekend as well. Because there is going to be a fair few people uploading these videos. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, if we can smash five likes, that would be awesome. If you want to comment down below any other changes that you'd like to, to career mode, that would be awesome. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I will speak to you guys in the next video.